Hey there, guys and girls, and welcome back to another Nether River video. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get all of the amounts in Terraria, as you can see in my inventory. Whoops, didn't mean to spawn him. But I guess that's a little bit of foreshadowing for what you're going to see. Uh, these things can be handy, especially in pre-hard mode, and even in hard mode, post-Plantera, post-Moon Lord. They can be useful for fighting bosses and all types of things. Some of them even do damage. So these aren't things just to show off to your friends. Mounts are useful. So that's what I'm going to be telling you guys, how to get the mounts. And a few notes before we get started. Uh, equipping your first mount will give you the achievement, ca the cavalry. So you get a little achievement for uh, getting your first mount, which is pretty cool. Summon time for mount is infinite. So there's not an amount of time that you can have a mount uh, summoned. Although there is, like, amounts of times for how much they can fly. That's not what I mean. And uh, you can put mounts in a mount slot in, I think, right now, it's only in PC. I may be wrong, but I think. So if you go to equipment over here, there will be a mount slot right here, and I need to move this. Um, so there will be a mount slot right here, and you can put a mount in there. And you can actually dye the mount so it looks a certain color, which is pretty cool. And what you're going to want to do, and this is just a, uh, I'm just showing you how to do this. Press R, and it'll spawn it right away. So, yeah, there's already a keybind for it, and that makes it pretty handy. Um, this was for my last video. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, those are the notes for right now, and I'll get into a little bit more notes, but uh, that's all that you need to know right now. I'll see you soon, and I'm going to be telling you guys how to get every single mount in the game. Alright, so to start off today, we're going to start off with the Slime Saddle, which is a very handy tool in pre-hard mode. It has a 25% drop chance from the King Slime, and it's uh, 20 miles per hour in speed. So once you start jumping, it'll go around 20 miles per hour. I don't think it's when you just do that. Maybe it is. I don't know. But you get, you get the gist. And it can jump 20 tiles. So that is pretty handy. And it jumps on water. So if you go over water... It'll jump over that. So let's check it out over here. As you can see, it just jumps. Or does it? Yeah, it kind of just floats and then jumps over it. So that's pretty handy if you're going over water because you don't have to sink and swim. And it won't also kick you off of it. So if you hold the jump key continuously, it will keep on jumping over and over again, which is also pretty handy. So yeah, that makes it easier because you don't have to press the space button every time you land. Uh, it also reduces fall damage by quite a lot. I'm not quite sure how much, but it's a lot. That's all I know. Alright, so next up is the Honeyed Goggles. So this is one of the first mounts that you'll get that can fly. It is the first mount that you can get that will fly. And uh, it's pretty useful because if you're in pre-hard mode, you can't use your wings. Um, well, you, you can't get wings, that's what I mean. And... Uh, the only way that you can fly, it takes a very short amount of time, and this thing can fly pretty high. So it is a useful, it is quite useful. So there is a problem though, it will get tired if you keep flying, so you, your uh, speed will go down. And uh, let, let me get rid of this guy. Oh, he's not dead yet. Wow, pretty good zombie. Um, his, his speed will go down, and he won't fly as fast, and... You know, you probably just need to take a break. So when you put him down, he'll start breathing. You'll see it. He's not breathing now because I haven't given him long enough of a fly. He'll start breathing. So you let him rest and then you go. It'll take like five seconds. Uh, he is 10 miles per hour when he's walking and 31 miles per hour when he's flying. So he's quite slower on the ground and way faster in the sky. So he can fly, but it's limited. So you can't go too high or he'll start gliding down. Don't worry about falling because he negates fall damage. So you can't get hurt when you are, when you're on him when you're uh, falling too deep. And he doesn't do any damage, of course. He can only fly to a certain height, as I said, and he cancels fall damage when you fly, like I said. Dismounts in liquids. So if we go over here and we get in water, he'll dismount, as you can see. And, excuse me, I didn't ask you to spawn. And, uh, Press down the key to make him glide faster. I've already said that, so basically, that is the honeyed goggle, or uh, what what is he called? The bee mount. 
Bzz, bzz, bzz. Wow. Um, next up on the list is the Hardy Saddle, which is a, a turtle. You can see how slow it goes. And it only jumps four tiles. It goes 10 miles per hour on ground. But when you jump in water, it goes 36 miles per hour. So that is quite a boost from on the ground like this and then into the water. So yeah, that's pretty handy. Let me take care of this guy. I'm just going to take you out with my shield, bro. I don't even need a sword. Um, so that is... That's it's pretty handy if you are wanting to swim or if you're trying to beat a boss while swimming because you can use weapons while you're on mounts. So that's pretty that's pretty uh awesome in my opinion. He drops from he has a 10% chance to drop from golden crates which you get from fishing and uh you know you you can just fish and there's a chance that you'll pick up a crate. Perhaps it'll be a golden crate and then you can unlock it and maybe you'll get this guy. So he's pretty handy. Also, the honeyed goggles, you get them from Queen Bee. It's a 5% chance drop from Queen Bee. So please don't leave comments saying you forgot to tell how to get the Queen Bee because I just said right now how to get it. Um, next up is the fuzzy carrot, which uh, it's it's okay. I mean, it goes pretty fast. This is the fastest uh, pre-hard mode mount that you can get because it goes 37 miles per hour and it jumps... 12 tiles so that's it's pretty handy and it also speeds up while you're running so it'll go faster the more you run as you can see there see I've gone a lot faster it also cancels fall damage so if you fall too much no fall damage all right moving on to hard mode uh, I'll go over these guys next and there's also one right there so I'll be right back just going to transition between videos next up on the list are all of the hard mode Post Plantera, Post Golem, and Post Moon Lord mounts. To start off today, we're going to get one of the first obtainable mounts from uh, all of this list, which is the Scaly Truffle. Although, I will admit, it's not probably the easiest to get. So, uh, yeah, we'll start off with that. So, to spawn it, of course, you just click, and uh, here he is. Your, uh, what's his name? Pigron. Now you see me. So,. He also has a limited fly amount time, so he can't fly forever. As you can see, I just stopped flying and now I'm falling slowly. If you hold the down key W, you'll fall uh, quicker. So let me take this guy out. Get out of here. Um, so yeah, this, this thing is pretty uh, useful, but it is kind of hard to get because you need to uh, be fishing in a hard mode biome, which means a hard mode biome is like the crimson underground. A uh, hollow, corruption, any of those three, overlapping a snow biome in the cavern layer. So it needs to be a crimson, hollowed, or corrupted s cavern layer snow biome. That is a mouthful, but that's what it needs to be. Troy has not made something so complicated. Uh, it it is a one in one hundred chance to be dropped from a uh, 50 percent fishing power so you have to fish down in the cavern layer down there so it is a 50 or 1 in 100 chance with 50 percent fishing power it's a 1 in 50 chance when you have 100 percent fishing power so the odds are increased mightily so yeah it's going to be a little bit hard to get but i'd say it's worth it uh it's 45 miles per hour that's how fast it is on land you can see it, it uh gets quicker the more you you walk it, and also flying. So it's pretty fast, but um, you know it's also limited. So it can fly, but it's limited, and it can't go that high. Admittedly, like not even to the uh, what do you call it the uh, the Sky Island uh, height. So you won't be able to fly to Sky Islands with this if that's what you want. This also cancels fall damage, obviously. So yeah, that's pretty useful. Next up on the list is the Shrimpy Truffle, which is, in my opinion, even better than this, but a little bit trickier to get going fast. So this, it's basically like another version of this guy, except not at the same time. It also says on its tooltip, just don't make it crawl, which is, you'll see this. So it can only go uh, five miles per hour when it's walking, and this next part is going to be a mouthful, because they just made this super complicated with this thing. So yeah, you can see it's super slow. And uh, it's 10 miles per hour when above 50 health 
after being in liquids when you're on the ground. It's 33 miles per hour when you're going horizontal, so like that, that's 33 miles per hour. It's 41 miles per hour vertical. So I think like this maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. And uh, also, it is 80 miles per hour when submerged in water. So you go way faster when you're submerged in water. Just look at that. Faster than like any wings. So let's just stay in there for a minute, put my head a little bit above there because um, there's still a little bit more to go. It is 66 miles per hour when you're above 50 health after being in liquids. So as you can see, it, it's still super fast. And it'll stay that way for like a couple of seconds and then it'll slow back down, back to its slow pace. This is extremely useful in fighting boss fa uh, battles like underground because you're going so fast and it basically can't, they can, it's like super hard for them to hit you especially with uh, Duke Fishron. The problem is you have to get this from Duke Fishron, so it's not much use because you've already beaten him enough. This has to be gotten in expert mode, guys, so it drops from Duke Fishron in expert mode from a treasure bag. That is what it drops from. So it is a little bit difficult to get. Well, when I say a little, I mean extremely difficult if you don't have the good enough armor. And, yeah... Also, when you are going really fast in water, you can also go fast in lava, which would be a little bit weird, and in honey. So it'll apply to both. Honey won't slow you down when you're like that. It'll actually speed you up. And same with lava. So that's pretty cool. Um, well, this, this is one of my favorite mounts, but I guess we're going to be moving on because, well, we have to. But uh, this is also a good mount. It is the reindeer bells mount. It's called Rudolph because it is Rudolph. And it can fly, bros. It can fly, but it has a limited amount of flight. So the as you can see, no more flying amount. Let's just let us fall down. It can go sixty miles per hour walking, running if you want to call it that. And it can go sixty miles per hour flying. And it increases speed, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the more you run, yeah, you can totally see that it increases speed. Also, if you hold the down key, you can hover. You see that I'm just hovering on ground, just like a, a real Rudolph, Rudolph would. So, yeah, he can hover off the ground by holding the down key, like that. Pretty awesome. And his flight is limited, like I said. And he cancels fall damage, of course. And you can hover, of course. So, yeah, that's, that's basically uh, all there is with him. So, we're going to be moving on to the Cosmic Cart Key, which is an awesome mount just because of the way it looks. And also, well, more than the way it looks. As you can see, it hovers. It kind of tilts down, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen that in a mount yet. Um, so, the Cosmic Car Key, and also, I, oh gosh, the Reindeer Bells are uh, dropped from the Ice Queen after or during Wave 15. It is a 0 0.56 to 0.83% chance drop from the Ice Queen. So, yep, that's how you get that. And the Saucer, you get this from the Martian Madness event from a Martian Saucer. So, you're going to want to beat a Martian Saucer in that, which is basically a boss type uh, enemy during the Martian Madness event, which happens after Golem, and I think it's just random after you beat Golem. So, it can fly 41 miles per hour forward, and it can fly 58 miles per hour diagonal, which means up. So, yeah, it's pretty fast going down. And uh, if you kind of use them both to go up and down at the same time, you'll go faster, as you can see. Um, so, that's kind of a tip that you could use. And, uh, yeah, that is the Cosmic Car Key. Pretty awesome. Also, it dismounts in water so you cannot go in water with this and this is a pc only item these next three items are pc only i'm sorry guys i know it hurts but it, they they are pc only so um yeah on to the next guy brain scrambler the brain scrambler drops from the scutlix gunner mar from the martian madness event so you're just going to want to fight the martian madness event and this will probably drop if you get lucky so it drops this guy. This guy's insane, guys. I mean, I love this thing. You know what? Uh, we're going to go up to my testing area so we can show you something pretty cool about this. 
because uh, I would feel bad if I didn't show you the specialty of this thing. So we're going to take it over here and press this lever and you will get to see what this thing does. It does 100 damage every time it shoots. So you can see it'll shoot two beams and it does 100 damage every time. Just got a skeleton banner, that's pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, just look at that. Tons of damage. I mean, it is really good. And it can shoot two enemies at the same time. Also, another note is that it will need to have the enemy in view. So you see it spawns there. It won't shoot it. It has to be looking to kill it. So that's a note that you may want to have in mind because it's kind of important. It also goes 40 miles per hour. Let me turn this off. So when it walks, it goes 40 miles per hour. I mean, this thing's pretty fast, guys. And it jumps pretty high, as, much, as high as the uh, slime, but faster. And uh, this is one of my favorite mounts. Honestly, I, I just love this thing. Uh, it jumps 28 tiles. Like I said, it does 100 damage. So that is pretty good. Uh, it can it can only shoot where it's looking, as I said, and reduces fall damage to 1. So when you fall pretty high, it reduces it to 1. Also, it uh, shoots its lasers automatically. So it won't, like... you. I'm not shooting it. It's actually just shooting it automatically, like a minion, kind of. So, uh, yeah. I'm, oh, wow. Wyvern fight. Yeah, you're going to get own dude just just watch this he's gonna get destroyed wow that was so easy i didn't i didn't even do anything except run all around wow that was so easy uh but yeah that this this one is awesome i love this thing but uh sadly enough we're gonna have to move on to the next one and you know what the next one isn't bad at all so i guess i shouldn't be complaining and oh what wait what just happened okay you know what I didn't mean to summon that one. For some reason it summoned that one. I think it's because whenever you have the first uh, one in your inventory, it'll spawn it, apparently. So keep that in mind. That's that's pretty interesting. Next up is the Blessed Apple, which is a 0.5, I think. Yeah, 0.5% drop from all hollow enemies. So any hollow-related enemies, that can be underground. It doesn't matter. This thing also does 80 damage when you go into the sprint effect. See? 80 damage, deals 80 damage, let's test on these dummies, so you can see I'm going pretty fast, yep, so, oh sorry, that's pretty awesome that it can do that, also it can double jump, 60 tiles, especially if you're running, I think, it'll do better even than that, and uh, it is pretty handy that it double jumps, because that makes it, uh, that makes it go pretty higher, oh, excuse me, it's 46 tiles, it goes 60 miles per hour when you're in your dash like that. So that's going 60 miles per hour. That is pretty fast. And uh, it jumps pretty high, too. So it's just it's just awesome that you can ride this thing. Uh, if you have, like, a wizard get up, it'll just make you look really cool. And also you can die it, and it looks awesome. So this this is an awesome mount. Uh, when it... It, it it does it does stop fall damage, but not completely. Only 80%. Like, I guess I could say not only, but a lot of that... 80%, so, I mean, that's pretty good, but if you're super high up, then it could do some pretty considerable damage to you. So, I mean, you may want to watch out for that. Um, next up on the list is uh, something I'm going to get ready for uh, later in this video. Well, not later, just like in a couple of minutes. I'm taking a break so I can truly show you the drill containment unit and its habitat. Because this thing is insanely awesome, guys. I can't wait to show this to you. You guys are going to love it. I'll be right back. Next up is one of my favorite mounts in the entire game. Let me throw this away so you guys don't get confused. It is the drill containment unit. Now, first off, we're going to get to the technical stuff. This thing can go 31 miles horizontal per hour. So as you can see, that's 31 miles per hour. And it can go, uh, let's see here. 41 miles per hour vertical so like that it's faster going down or going up so uh yeah that's it's it's a, it's an it's an okay speed but i mean there's better but that's not the reason i love this so much i'll explain that later it can also fly as you can see of course and it's infinite flight so uh i mean you're not going to have any problem with the uh, timed amount of flight it can mine terrain which is, this is one of the most important things. You guys are going to love this. Watch this. It is the fastest way to mine stuff in Terraria. Fastest way to date. So as you can watch here, it, it can also uh, mine stuff cleanly. Like, you can just make a normal tunnel if you want. Just And uh, I'm not doing that well with it, but earlier I was. And you, as you can see, you can also make a tunnel that goes up. 
pretty insane. It is it, it is so fast. It's faster than any drill in the game, and uh, it is cannot use any tools on it or any weapon. So you might want to summon a minion while you're on it, um, because well you won't be able to protect yourself. Uh, to make this thing, I left this out for last because it is going to be a little bit complicated. You're going to need to be at an Orcalcum or Mithril Anvil, whichever ore spawns in your world after you defeat the Wall of Flesh and destroy your second Demon Altar with your Pwn Hammer. Um, you're going to want to get that and make one of those anvils. And the next part to making this is extremely hard. This is a post-Moon Lord mount. So uh, how you're going to want to make it is... 40 Luminite Bars, which drop from the uh, Moon Lord. So yeah, that's going to be pretty hard. Um, let's see here, 40 Chlorophyte, which uh, start just growing in the underground jungle after you defeat all of the mechanical bosses, which there's three of them. Uh, the Shroomite Bars, which you need 15 glowing mushrooms, which you can find in the jungle. There's a bunch over here as you can see, but that's pretty hard, so you may want to make an above ground uh, mushroom jungle like I have, and because uh, that's going to be pretty expensive, and then uh, chlorophyte bars, which you make at the auto hammer, which you buy from the truffle, which you have to make an above ground jungle mushroom, and then you have to build a house for him, and then he'll spawn, and then you can buy the auto hammer, and then you can make shroomite bars, and you need 40 of them, and it is one of the hardest or uh, bars to get super hard, almost as hard as Luminite, if not harder. Spectre bars you get from mixing Chlorophyte and uh, Ectoplasm, which you get in the dungeon from a lot of enemies down there. So you're going to want to go in the post-Plantera dungeon, actually. It's post post-Plantera. And uh, get some Ectoplasm. And also, you're going to want Hellstone, 40 Hellstone bars. Yay, so much stuff. Which you get in the underworld. Yeah, and you're just going to want to mine a bunch of that, and then you're going to mix it with obsidian, which you make by putting lava and water together, and then you're going to get that, and then mix them together, and then get the hell, hell forge down in the underworld, and get that on one of the buildings down there, then bring it back up to the surface, put it in your house, and then make them. Pretty complicated. Once again, this is going to be super hard to make. Uh, and meteorite, which just drops from the sky, you're going to need 40 meteorite bars. Do you see a pattern? And it'll just drop from the sky and land somewhere in your world. It, uh, a sign will show when it says that one drops, so you're going to want to go and get that. And then you can make this. Isn't that easy? I hope you realize I'm being sarcastic. So this is one of the hardest mounts to get to make, whatever you want to say. It is extremely hard to get, but it is honestly so worth it it's insane so i hope this uh i hope this video helped you guys i really do i just went upside down and i didn't mean to that doesn't matter i'm just gonna let myself fly to space um yeah i hope this video helped you guys and uh you know mounts are pretty awesome to get let me get this out of here um and they can really help you so if this video actually helped you guys please like please and if it if it really helped you and if you really liked it, please subscribe, which would help me even more. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I hope you've been having a good other part of the day before this as well. I'll see you guys next time, and please watch again. Oh, Wyvern's going to pick a fight with me right when I close. I'll see you guys later, and you guys can pretty much guess what's going to happen to this Wyvern.